Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary and we're going to make a card celebrating fall. I love the fall of the year and I know a lot of you do too. And there is a little tree in the Stretch Your Imagination cartridge that I really like. So we're going to use that today. If you don't have Stretch Your Imagination, there's also a little tree that you could use in Create a Critter 2. And probably some other cartridges too. We'll be using some cardstock from the Simple Stories Snap Paper Pad. Love that one. And we're going to use two Cards TV stamp sets. We'll be using Heartfelt Wishes and Fall Fun. So I'll get what we need over here to make this card and we'll get started. We'll start off with a white card base and this is a portrait style card that is folded at the top. Then to go on top of that I have kind of a cranberry red. I like it because it looks like uh, some of the colors of fall leaves. I just really like that. And then to go on top of this we've got this mustard yellow and white polka dot. Now, I'm going to put the image on this first and do the stamping, so we're just going to go ahead and get this adhered to the front of this card. Okay, I've got these adhered together. We're going to set that aside, and you can see I've gone ahead and got my tree laying on here, and this tree is in the Stretch Your Imagination cartridge on page 47, and I cut the tree right here out of the craft card stock, and then I came over here to layers and I cut the layers. Let's see. I cut a cranberry red, a mustard yellow, and kind of a cinnamon color. And then I cut some out of the craft. Now I went ahead and put the ones on the leaves on the end of the branches on here. But then I've got all these extra ones and I'm going to be adding those down here at the bottom. But I'm going to put my sentiment right here. So I'll be using my MISTI tool today. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my tree adhered down. And I'm just going to use my two-way glue pen for that so that I can be sure to get all those thin little branches. Let's see. I better use my tweezers too. I've got the tree adhered down to the front mat of the card and I've got it secured with the magnet so it's not going to move when I stamp it. Now I've gone ahead and got my sentiment on here and we're going to stamp that with some Memento Rich Cocoa ink. But what I did for this sentiment, I used two different stamp sets. I used Fall Fun because I liked piles of smiles because that reminds me of piles of leaves. But I wanted it to say sending you piles of smiles. So then I got out the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set, and several of my stamp sets will have the sentiment separated into two stamps, and this is one of them. And this one is Sending You Wishes by itself, and then Caring Thoughts. And you can also use Sending You Deepest Sympathy, or Sending You Many Thanks, or with some of your other stamp sets. And I really like that because that makes your stamp sets lots more versatile and you don't have to cut them if they're already in two different pieces. So I've gone ahead and lined it up exactly the way I want it on the front of my card. And I'm going to use this Memento Rich Cocoa ink and get this inked up. And we're going to stamp that on the front. Love this MISTI tool for things like this. There we go. It turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. Okay, we're going to get this on the front of the card, and then we're going to use some Wink of Stella. Okay, that's attached to the front. I love that. That looks so much like fall. Now, to put the piles of leaves down here, See, here's all my extra little leaves I cut out. I'm going to use my two-way glue pen and my tweezers, and I'm just going to pile these little leaves up down here under this tree. And then we're going to take the Wink of Stella and put some on the different leaves and give it a little bit of sparkle. 
So I'm going to lay these out the way I want them first, and then I'll start gluing them down. This is going to take a little time, so I'm not going to make you watch me. I've got my whole pile of leaves added down here. I love this card. I love the colors. I think it's so pretty. Now we're going to put some Wink of Stella on some of these leaves. We're going to put it on all the leaves on the trees, but just a few down here. And I'm going to go ahead and get this added, and then we're going to come back and take a look at this finished card. Here's my finished card and I know I said I was only going to do a few of the leaves down here but I did all of them because that Wink of Stella just made them look so pretty. I hope you can see that sparkle. And I don't know who I'm sending this to yet so that's going to determine what I put on the inside. But you could use this for a fall birthday card, a thinking of you, even a get well card. I just think it's so pretty, and it just screams fall, doesn't it, guys? Can't wait for fall. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.